Right, shall I go and get the hammer just in case? No. Can you see me? Yeah, no, it'd be lower. Just about. What have we got here, Dom? Explosion discharge. Can we stop that again? I thought we were doing an intro. Okay. Pause it a little bit. Hi right, guys, explosive discharge here. We're both in the camera for once. But, um, Just. Chris this morning, while I was hung over asleep, Chris went out and went to a boot sale. How much is this? Two pounds. Two pounds, my <laughs> Oh, you rocked it. <laughs> Don't. A wood louse, a wood louse just fell off that rock and went in the vent, so that is going to die. Anyway, it's got a microwave pizza in it and we haven't plugged it in yet. Um, so we're going to plug it in. I'm actually shitting myself. It didn't blow up. It's running. It doesn't sound particularly good, mate. Is it spinning round? Fucking light bulb doesn't work. It is. How long do I give it? Because I've given it... <laughs> 20, 20 minutes. minutes. <laughs> Three minutes. Let's get, let's get a bit of a close-up of this shitty microwave. You can see it's a really top quality uh, Hinari. Oh, yeah. We thought we'd cook some food in it before we slaughter it. And um, that PCB might find its way in there as well. I don't. I think even if you search for your whole life, you would never find a qualified Hinari <laughs> service man ever. Would you? Probably not. Nope. Yeah, yeah, nope. Yeah, nope. Yeah, nope. Yeah, nope. Yeah, yeah. Do not try this at home. Well, right, Chris, do you want to open the pizza door thing? <laughs> pizza's going to go everywhere. That has not worked, has it? Do you reckon I can uh, line up for a more? You won't be able to open the door with... Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hold on. I'm going to do a flip. Yes. Light a match in a, in a microwave, put a container over it, and then... Uh, Whack the old um, microwave on and we'll see what happens. It's plugged in. Give it some. chucking in there Chris? Oh just got some Christmas lights and uh, whatever the hell that is. Down and a little bit of wood. Ah! That's quite cool, did you get that? Oh yeah, but that's it. Oh no, we're a light and it's going to explode very soon. <laughs> I think it's as they move in the path of the wave isn't it? Yeah it must be. <laughs> it's quite a an odd video to watch. A bit of magnesium, a couple of bits just there. Sure. These matches are shit. It's going really well. You lit one. Alright, we're going for take three. We're just going to do um, three matches right next to each other. So light one and then all light. As you can see, still using the epic banana. in the corner. Oh, there's one of the bulbs. Okay, we're going to have a bit of a fire in a minute because the bulb is just a light. <laughs> he has a light. He has got a light now. Um. <laughs> I'm scared for my life. <laughs> I don't know. This isn't the experiment that we expected, but one of the bulbs is ignited. You can kill it now, it's just on fire. Take 64, go! Fuck, this jug's hot. Do it. Go for it, son. Come on, you swan bit. Yes! Um, should I be here? Probably not, it's <laughs> 
That is the best we've had it by far. Explosive Discharge endorses Swan Vesta's matches. They work. Cooks, sorry not Cooks, Bryant and May don't work. I'm worried about this. This is the best one we've had. This is the best one I've seen as well. This is better than all the YouTube ones. Apparently it's ozone. Um, the glass does smash eventually. Oh, we're also endorsing Pyrex because this is, is a Pyrex jug and it hasn't broken yet. I think we've got... Please. I'll pass it back to me. Chris, could you pass me the little circuit board, please? Mate? Yeah, sure. Just gotta make sure that the... Uh... Oh, fuck. Hello. Um. <laughs> it's just the same little patch of PCB that's cooking. There's a lot of smoke coming out of the microwave, Chris. Tell, tell me what. Tell me what. I don't know. There's a lot of smoke coming out. It smells bad. Turn it off. Event soon. <laughs> Um, a little bit of a cook up. The uh, matches didn't seem to do much. What actually happened to that BCB? I don't know, I'm gonna get it though. Should we go again with it in the middle? There's some caps there that will go eventually. Mm, we could leave, shall I leave it set up and walk away? Yeah, probably. I'm not too worried about this because it's in quite a confined space. Um, nevertheless. Nevertheless, if I pop it on there. While the matches are still burning, we should probably start this. I think we'll be okay like that. We won't see all of it, but it's good enough, isn't it? Yep. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, we missed a lot of arcs, they're fantastic. Quite worried again now. Um, caps vented. Yeah, it looks like the cap vents on fire as well. <laughs> I think we've killed the neighbour's dog. Um, this was a bad idea. <laughs> I'm just start evaporating it. We're just, um, uh, chucked a chuck to paint in four thousand hertz. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm talking about. What's that you're putting in there, Chris? Oh. Um, microwave. Um, microwave the additive. Yeah. Does that say white spirit on there by any chance? Oh. wasn't as spectacular as it should have been. Oh, me, sweet Jesus. Sorry, you can't put that on YouTube. <laughs> you can't put that on YouTube. Sorry, that's really politically incorrect. I thought that was going to happen. I thought that was going to have some epic arcs. I think it was too big. Too big. Mm. 
What just happened, Chris? Well, um, I was emptying the microwave into the bin and um, it slipped from my hands. So we're now going to have to get it out. The door doesn't look like it's in very good condition anymore. Oh. <laughs> Is it empty? It's very burned inside. Really? We'll have a look at it in a sec. Good day, folks. Only kidding. Aussie 50 here. <laughs> That's a bit of an American accent, that's yeah. quite bad. Anyway, a bit of an Aussie 50 inspired video, we're actually doing something kind of educational. <laughs> educational? Well, we're not really. We've messed, we've pissed around with this microwave enough that we're just going to obliterate it. I mean, we're going to recover parts from it, so we're going to open it and get the MOT out and... Obliterate that. Right, well, there's a big old cap down there. That's the capacitor. Yeah. That's the uh, microwave transformer. And that is the Megatron, which we are uh, going to eat. We're not going to eat. Disconnect the electric power before servicing. We've got the dial and the control and the buzzer. There you go, the little bell there. The bell didn't work when we did it before. No, it didn't. Oh. Little bell on top. We've got a couple of sand. Are they sand-based resistors, the big white ones? Um, Possibly. 10 watts, 20 watts. Yeah, they might be R3. Yeah, they are resistors. So there's a couple of big resistors. That's that's good, isn't it? Wow. That isn't us that's done that. That is... Oh, I, no, think, no, no. I think it was it's a clip at look, some point. If you look there. I think one of them I dropped it when I put it in the car, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. We've got whatever this is. Whatever uh, that is. That's, kind of that's a sensor. transistor. Yeah, isn't it? There's one over there as well. That's not like it. Unless they're sensors. They could be, but they look like transistors to me. Well, they got written on two, four, they've two, fifty. They've only got two pins. They're not transistors, unless they oh, just ground the microwave. I wouldn't have thought so. Probably not. There's a very big diode there. Oh, there is a nice diode. Right. She strips some bits out of it. Yeah, what? It's a big old MOT, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice one. Okay. Um. 